got to the phone. I've only got one pair of feet. Hello? Yes, but there's no one here, love. No, Mr. Brent's not here. He lives here, yes, but he don't live here now because he lives in Spain. <laughs> Mr. Philip Brent, that's right. The one who writes the plays, that's him. Only now he writes them in Spain. No, she's in Spain too. They're all in Spain. There's no one here. Am I in Spain? No, I'm not in Spain, dear. I look after the house for them, but I go home at one o'clock on Wednesdays, only I've got a nice plate of sardines to put my feet up with, because it's the royal what's it called on the telly? The royal, you know. <laughs> Where's the paper then? And if it's to do with letting the house, then you'll have to ring the house agents, because they're the agents for the house. <laughs> squire, squire, reckon, and who's the other one? No, they're not in Spain. <laughs> they're next to the phone in the study. Squire, squire, reckon, and... Hold on, I'll go and look. Always the same, isn't it? Soon as you take the weight off your feet, down it all comes on your head. <laughs> and I take the sardines. <laughs> no, I leave the sardines. No, I take the sardines. You leave the sardines and you put the receiver back. Oh, yes, I put the receiver back. And you leave the sardines. And I leave the sardines? You leave the sardines. I put the receiver back and I leave the sardines. Right. We've changed that, have we, dear? No, dear. That's what I've always been doing. I shouldn't say that, Donnie, my precious. <laughs> How about the words, dear? Am I getting some of them right? <laughs> some of them have a very familiar ring to them. <laughs> Only it's like a fruit machine in there. I know that, Dottie. <laughs> I open my mouth and I never know if it's going to come up three oranges or two lemons and a banana. Anyway, it's not midnight yet and we don't open it until tomorrow. And so you're holding the receiver. Squire, Squire, Ackerman, hold on. Squire, Squire, Ackerman, hold on. Don't go away, I'm putting it down. Always the same, isn't it? Put your feet up for two minutes and immediately they come running after you. <laughs> Hold it, Dottie. I have a housekeeper, yes, but this is her afternoon off. Hold it, Gary. Dottie! So we've got the place entirely to ourselves. Hold it, Dottie! Come back? Yes, and go out again with the newspaper. The newspaper? Oh, the newspaper! You leave the sardines, you put the receiver back, and you go out with the newspaper. Here you are, dear. Sorry, dear. D -d 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 Don't worry, Daddy. It's only the tech rehearsal. It's the dress, Gary. It's the dress rehearsal. <laughs> so when was the tech rehearsal? Gary. So when's the dress? We open tomorrow. <laughs> well, we're all thinking it's the tech rehearsal. Aren't we, dear? It's all those words, my sweetheart. <laughs> Don't worry about the words, Dottie, my pet. Coming up like oranges and lemons. Listen, Dottie, your words are fine. Your words are better than, you know. Isn't that right? Sorry? <laughs> I mean, okay. So he's the, you know. But you've been playing this kind of part for, for well, you know what I mean. Right. So Brooke and Gary are off, and Dottie's holding the receiver. No, 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 but we're all thinking, my God, we've only had two weeks to rehearse. 
Um, we don't know where we are, but my God, here we are. That's right, my sweet. Isn't that right, Lloyd? Beautifully put, Gary. No, but we've got to play Boston all the rest of this week, then Akron, then God knows where, then God knows where else, and, and so on. For God knows how long. And we're all just feeling sort of, uh, aren't you? Sorry? <laughs> right, so, Gary is uh, off Lloyd, and Lloyd, let me just say one thing, since we stopped. Well, Lloyd, I've worked with a lot of directors. Uh, some of them were geniuses, and, and some of them were bastards. <laughs> but I've never worked with one who was so totally and absolutely, I don't know. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> I'm very touched. Now you get off the damn stage! And Brooke! Yes? Are you there? What? Are you in? In? You're off, okay, I'll call again. So you're holding the receiver? So I'm holding the receiver. I put the receiver back, and I leave the sardines. Hello, why is the same story, isn't it? With the newspaper. <laughs> I leave the sardines, and I take the newspaper! Always the same story, isn't it? It's a weight off your mind, it's a load off your stomach, and uh, at last, I go. Leaving the receiver. <laughs> I have a housekeeper, yes, but this is her afternoon off. So we've got the place entirely to ourselves. I'll just check. Hello, anyone at home? No, there's no one here. So what do you think? Great, and this is all yours? Just a little shack in the woods, converted posset mill, 16th century. It must have cost a bomb. Well, one has to have somewhere to entertain one's business associates. Someone coming at four, actually. Arab chic. Oil, you know. Right, and I've got to get those files to our Basingstoke office by four. Yes, we we'll only just managed to fit it in. I mean, we we'll only just do it. I mean... Right then. We won't bother to chill the champagne. All these doors! Only a handful, really. Study. Kitchen and a self contained service flat for the housekeeper. Terrific. And which one's the. What? You know. The usual offices. Through here. Fantastic. Now I've lost the sardines. I'm sorry, I thought there was no one here. Oh, I'm not at home off, only it's the royal year now, where the meadows act and they're all covered in fruit, and do you? I'm from the agents. From the agents? Squire, Squire, Hackham and Dudley. Oh! So which one are you then, Squire, Squire, Hackham or Dudley? I'm Tramplemain. Walking in here as if you own the place. <laughs> I thought you was a burglar. No, no, just dropped in to go into a few things. <laughs> Check some of the measurements. <clears throat> Do one or two odd jobs. And a client, I'm showing a prospective tenant over the house. What's wrong with this doll? <laughs> She's thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely aroused. <laughs> that's not the bedroom. The bedroom, no, that's the downstairs bathroom in WC Suite. And this is the housekeeper, Mrs. Crockett. Clackett, dear, Clackett. Oh, hi. She's not really here. Only it's the royal, you know, with the acts. Uh, don't worry about us. All of a sound on low. We'll just inspect the house. Only now I've lost the newspaper. 
Sardines! I'm sorry about this. That's all right. We don't want the television, do we? Sardines! <laughs> I've forgotten the sardines. <laughs> Lloyd, these sardines, they're driving us mad. Something went wrong with the sardines, Gary. A oh, poppy! Lloyd, there are four plates of sardines coming on in Act One alone. They go here, they go there, she takes them, I take them, and we're all of us feeling kind of, aren't you? Sorry? <laughs> the sardines! What sardines? Change the sardines. Make it four grilled turbot off the bone. Lloyd, it's all right for you sitting out there, but we're up here. We've got to do it. Plus we've got bags, plus boxes, plus doors, plus words. We're not getting at you, Poppy, here. We think the sardines are lovely. No, I'm just trying to, you know. So what do you want to change, Gary? The bags, the boxes, the doors? We can't start changing things now, dear. No, I'm just saying. D doors, words, bags, boxes, sardines, us. Okay, have I made my point? <laughs> you certainly have, Gary. You got that, Poppy? Um, well... Right, on we go from uh, Daddy's exit and Poppy. Yes? Do not let this happen again. Oh, no. Uh, so sorry, Lloyd, just thought we ought to, you know. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, better out than, you know. Uh, much better, as long as Dottie's happy. Absolutely happy, Lloyd, my dear. Oh, then could you do something for me, Dottie, my precious? Anything, Lloyd, my sweet. Take the sardines off with you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about this. That's all right. We don't want the television, do we? <laughs> Only she's been in the family for generations. Great. Come on, then. I've got to be in Basingstoke by four. Perhaps we'll just have a glass of champagne. We'll take it up with us. Yes, well... And don't let my files out of sight. Uh, no, only... What? She has been in the family for generations. Sardines? Sardines? Is it not really a say, of course, dear? Only I will just say this. Don't think twice about it. Take the plunge. She'll really enjoy it here. <laughs> oh, great. Won't she, love? Uh, yes. Well, yes. I really enjoy having you, won't we, love? Well... Terrific! Sardines, sardines. Can't put your feet up on an empty stomach, can you? You see? She thinks it's great. She's even making us sardines. Well... I think she's terrific. Terrific. So which way? Oh, right, oh, right, before she comes back with the sardines. Up here? Yes, yes. In here? Uh, yes, yes. It's another bathroom. N no, no, no. <laughs> Always trying to get me into bathrooms. <laughs> uh, in here, in here. Oh, black sheep. It's the airing cupboard. Uh, this one, this one. Oh, you're in a real state. You can't even get the door open. God, hold it! No, it's Mrs. Clackett's afternoon off, remember? Hold it, Freddy! We've got the place entirely to ourselves. And God said, hold it! And they held it! <laughs> and God saw that it was terrible! <laughs> Sorry, dear, this door won't open. Sorry, dear, this door won't close. And God said, Poppy! Sorry, everyone. I mean, you know how stupid I am about doors. Am I doing something wrong? Freddy, my precious, you're doing it perfectly. Well, as long as it's not me that's broken it. And there was Poppy. And God said, be fruitful and multiply. And fetch Tim to fix the doors. <laughs> oh, I love tech rehearsals. <laughs> she, she loves tech rehearsals. Isn't she just... Uh, Dottie? Well, where's Dottie? 
Everyone's always so nice to everyone. Hey, isn't she just? I mean, hey, isn't she? <laughs> but Belinda's being all, you know. Freddie, my precious, don't you love a nice all night tech rehearsal? The only thing I like about a tech rehearsal is you get a chance to sit on the furniture. <laughs> Freddie, my precious, it's lovely to see you cheering up and making jokes. Oh, is that a joke? <laughs> such, a, <laughs> such a lovely company to work with, such a happy company. Wait till we've got to Atlanta in 12 weeks' time. Are you alright, Lloyd, my precious? I'm starting to know what God felt like as he sat out there in the darkness creating the world. What did he feel like, Lloyd, my dear? Thankful that he'd taken his Valium. <laughs> <laughs> he had six days, of course. We've only got six hours. <laughs> and God said, Where the hell is Tim? the hell was Tim? And God said, have doors open when they open and close when they close. Do something. Doors. I was doing the front of the house. Doors. Doors. Tim, are you fully awake? Lloyd, he has been putting up the set all weekend. You're not trying to do too much, are you, Tim? Tim, my dear, that door won't close. And, and this room won't, you know. <laughs> oh, right. Lloyd, he has been awake for 48 hours. Don't worry, Tim. In another 24 hours, the day will be over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he's come down to earth amongst us. All right, since we've stopped anyway. All right, it took two days to get the setup, so we, we shan't have time for a dress rehearsal. Uh, but don't worry, don't worry. Think of the first night as the dress rehearsal. If we can just get through it for, for doors and sardines, that's what it's all about. Uh, getting the sardines on and getting the sardines off. That's theater. That's acting. That's life. Oh boy, you're so deep. So just keep on going, all right? Uh, bang, 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 bang. Uh, bang, you're on. Bang, you said it. And bang, you're off. And everything will be perfectly. Where's Selston? <gasps> Not already. Selston! I thought he was in front with you. I thought he was round the back with you. See if Mr. Mowbray's in his dressing room. I wouldn't think he would have tech rehearsal. Would, would he? Would who? Selson, <laughs> we can't find him. I'm sure he wouldn't. Not in a tech rehearsal. Half a chance he would. Would what? Now come on, be fair, my sweet sweet. Don't know. Now let's just get the understudy dressed. Tim. Yes? Hurry up with those doors. They're going on as the burglar. Oh. Just right. keep looking. In the rehearsal room, it was all, you know, and, and now it's all for self. You know, and there was no set. You could see everyone. And now it's all, you know, and there's a front and a back, and instantly you've lost it. Dressing room. Look in the bathroom. Yes. And the theory dock, and the rock room, and the paint store. Yes. You, you worked with them before, of course. Ring the police. Uh, Tim, uh, hurry up with those doors. They're going on. I'm sorry, Dottie, my precious. No, it's my fault, Lloyd, my dear. I cast him. Let's give him one last chance. I said one last chance. I mean, what can you do? We were we were nuclear up together in stock. It's not your fault, Dottie. I shouldn't have let you. This tour for her is more than just, you know, it's her life saving. We know, Gary, we know. I'm not trying to make my fortune. Of course you're not, Dottie. I just wanted to put a little something by. We know, dear. Just enough to, to, to buy a little house, that's all. That's not too much to ask, is it? Don't cry, my sweet. It's not your fault. No, I've got something behind my lens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you couldn't expect Brooke to keep anyone in sight. But he was standing right there in the aisles before we started. I saw him! Who are we talking about now? It's all right, my sweet. We know you can't see anything. You mean Selsden? I'm not blind. I can see Selsden. Selsden! <laughs>
Is it a party? Is it a party? Is it? No killing. I got it into my head there was going to be a rehearsal. You see, I was just having a little snooze in the aisle. Had to be prepared for it. Isn't he lovely? Much lovely now that we can see him. So what are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? <laughs> I've looked all through the dressing room. I've looked all through the wardrobe. I can't find the gear. Oh. Beer? In the wardrobe? No, Selfson. <laughs> you need... You need a plan. Why don't you go upstairs and do the company's payroll? Payroll. Right. And Tim, just in case Selston and... Just in case Selston and the gear do walk off together one night, I want you to order yourself a spare burglar costume. Spare burglar costume. Actually, make it two spare burglars. Two <laughs> spare burglar costumes. One for you and one for Pop. Two spare burglars. What a surplus of burglars. Lloyd, he has been on his feet for 48 hours. Oh, don't fall down, Tim. We might not be insured. <laughs> so, what's next on the bill? Well, Selson, I thought we might try a spot of rehearsal. Oh, I won't, thank you. You won't? <laughs> you all go ahead. I'll sit and watch you. This is the beer in the wardrobe, isn't it? No, no. my sweet. He wants us to rehearse. Yes, but I think we've got to rehearse, haven't we? Yes! That's a great idea, Selson. I knew you'd think of something. Right. Uh, from Freddie and Belinda's entrance. The police. What? The police. <gasps> the police? We found an old man. He was lying across the doorway just across the street. Oh, uh, that's okay, Papa. He said he was very dirty and rather smelly. I thought, oh my god, because. Papa. Because when you get close to Selson. Papa! When you can stand anywhere near Selson. Papa, stop talking! He was very distinctive. I'll tell you something, Papa dear. <laughs> 60 years now, and the snow of the theater still haunts me. Oh, bless him. Tell me, Poppy, how did someone like you get a job like this that requires so much tact and understanding? You're not somebody's girlfriend, are you? It's all right, Poppy, my dear. He truly did not hear you. Not hear? Sit down, my precious. Go back to sleep. Yes, you're not on for another 20 pages. Right, and on we go. From Dottie wildly roasting sardines in the kitchen, Brooke and Gary disappearing tremulously into the bedroom. Freddie and Belinda waiting impatiently outside the front door. Time sliding irrevocably into the past. Who? Gary and Dottie. Gary and Dottie! Mrs. Clackett is rambling. Didn't you know? Only God, Belinda, dear. I don't know anything. <laughs> What's happening? I don't care to know, Gary, dear. Uh, I mean, what are we waiting for? I don't know. Maybe her 18th birthday? <laughs> what? I mean, uh, maybe just the call. Uh, Brooke, dear. Your line, oh, you're in a real state, you can't even get the door open. Oh, you're in a real state, you can't even get the door open. Door closed, Gary, dear, door closed. You can't even get the door open! Nate, Mrs. Clackett's afternoon off, remember? We've got the place entirely to ourselves. Home. Home sweet home. Dear old house. Just waiting for us to come back. It's rather funny though, creeping in like this for our wedding anniversary. It's damn serious. If Inland Revenue finds out we're in the country even for one night, Bangles are claimed to be resident abroad, Bangles most of this year's income, I feel like an illegal immigrant. I'll tell you what I feel like. Champagne. I wonder if Mrs. Plackett's had the bed. Darling. Well, why not? No children, no friends dropping in. We're absolutely on our own. True. There is something to be said for being a tax exile. Leave those. Shh. What? In and red, you may hear us. What I did with that first lot of sardines? I shall never know! Mrs. Clackett! Ah! <laughs> Did you be a child? Might have jumped right out of my boots! So sort did of mine! We thought you'd gone! I thought she was in spite! Oh, well, we are, we are! You haven't seen us! We're not here! Oh! Like that, is it? <laughs> Income tax are after you? They would be if they knew we were here. All right then, love, you're not here. I haven't seen you. Anybody ask for you, I don't know nothing. Off to bed, are you? Oh. Well. That's right. Nowhere like 
bed when they all get on top of you. <laughs> you want your things, love? Oh, yes, thanks. Oh, and that bed hasn't been aired, love. I'll get a hot water bottle. I'll put all the letters in the study, dear. Letters? What letters? Y you throw it on the mail, don't you? Not the ones from the income tax, dear. I don't want to spoil your holidays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good heavens. Where are they? I put them all in the pigeon house. In the pigeon house? In the little pigeon house in your desk, love. Yes, like it voices. Hold it. Voices? What sort of Hold voices? Hold it. People's voices. Hold it. Hold it. Freddy, what's the trouble? Oh, um, Lloyd, I mean, you know how stupid I am about moves. <laughs> sorry, Gary. Sorry, Brooke. It's just my usual dimness. But. Why do I take the things off into the study? Wouldn't it be more uh, natural if I left them on? No. <laughs> well, I, I thought it would somehow be more logical. No. <laughs> well, I, Lloyd, I know it's a little bit late to be going right. into all this. We have just several more minutes before we open. Oh, oh, oh. Well, thank you, Lloyd, as long as we're not too pushed. Well, but I never understood why he takes a box of groceries and an overnight bag into the study with him to look at the mail. B because it'd be uh, off from, from my next scene. I see that. Freddie, my sweet, Selston needs them in the study for his next scene. I, I see oh, that. Selston! Where's Selston? Selston! <laughs> no bars, no burglar alarms. They ought to be prosecuted. Cuted, fun, sight, men. No? No, not yet. Thank you, Selson. I thought I heard my name. No, you're not on for another 15 pages. Uh, Poppy, could you come back and put the glass in the window? I'm so sorry. Uh, don't be. Nice seeing you. Oh, it's Selson. Yes? Beautiful performance. Oh, how kind of you. I don't think I'm quite there yet, though. He even remembered the line. All right. I, I see all that, but... I just don't know why I take them. Freddy, why does anyone do anything? Why does that idiot walk out the front door holding two plates of sardines? I'm not getting at you, dear. Uh, not at all, dear. I mean, why do I? I mean, I mean, right. When you come to think about it, why, why do I? Who knows? <laughs> the wellsprings of human action are deep and uncertain. Maybe something happened to you as a child that made you scared to let go of groceries. Or it could be genetic. Oh, or it could be, you know. It could well be. <laughs> I, I see all that, thank you. But I just need a reason. Freddy, I don't know. I'm telling you I don't know. I don't think the author knows. All the same, if you could just give me a reason that I could keep- I'll going. give you a reason, Freddy. You take those groceries into the study with you because it's just slightly after midnight and we're not going to be ready before we open tomorrow. Correction. Before we open tonight. So on we go from Freddy's exit into the study with the groceries. Lloyd, sweetheart. His wife left him this morning. Oh. Uh, Freddy, could you come out here? <laughs> Fred, I think the point is that you've had a great fright when Mrs. Clackett mentions the income tax, and you feel scared and, and vulnerable. And you need something familiar to hold on to. Oh, well, thank you, Lloyd. That's, that's <laughs> most helpful. Bless you, my sweet. Right, and on we go. To the last line. Yes, but I can hear voices. Voices? What sort of voices? People's voices. But there's no one here. <laughs> but darling, I can see the door handle move. It could be someone from the office checking up. I still don't see why you've got to put your tie on to look. Uh, Mrs. Crackett. Mrs. Crackett? One has to set an example for the staff. Oh, look, she's opened our sardines. Come back. What? You can't go downstairs like that. Why not? Mrs. Crackett. Mrs. Crackett? One has certain obligations. Sardines, eh? 
starting there. It's like a Sunday school outing. Hey, you're still poking around, are you? Yes, still poking. Well, still around. In the airing cupboard, were you? No, no. <laughs> Just going through the inventory, checking the pillowcases and sheets and things. Mrs. Clackett. Clackett, dear Clackett. Mrs. Clackett, is there anyone else in this house, Mrs. Clackett? I haven't seen no one, dear. <laughs> but I could have sworn I heard voices. Voices? There's no voices here, love. I must have imagined it. Oh, good Lord above. I beg your pardon? Oh, good Lord above. <laughs> the study door's open. <laughs> There's another car outside. That's a Mr. Hackens, is it? Or Mr. Dudley's? Final notice. Steps will be taken. Distraint. Proceedings in court. Oh, yes, that reminds me. A gentleman comes out of the house. Don't tell me I'm not here. He says he's got a lady quite around. <laughs> just leave the squire, squire, Hackman and Dudley. All right, then. I'll just let them go all over, shall I? Let them do anything just so long as you don't tell them we're here. So all will just sit down and turn on the sardines! I've forgotten the sardines! <laughs> I don't know if it wasn't fit to my shoulders. I forget what day it was. <laughs> I didn't get this. Not here. But if I did get it, I didn't open it. Darling, I never had a dress like this, did I? Didn't you? I shouldn't buy anything as tardy as this. I oh, it's not something you gave me, is it? I should never have touched it. No, it's lovely. Stick it down. Put it back. You never saw it. Well, I'll put it in the attic with all the other things you gave me that are too precious to wear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, now the study door's open. What's going on? Knocking? Upstairs? Oh my God, there's something in the airing cupboard. Oh, it's you. <laughs> of course it's me. You put me in here, in the dark, with all black sheets and things. <laughs> But darling, why did you lock the door? Why did I lock the door? Why did you lock the door? I didn't lock the door. Well, someone locked the door. Well, we can't stand here like this. Like what? In your underwear. OK, I'll take it off. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Hold it, Freddy. Darling, this glue, it, it isn't the sort you can ever get on stuff, is it? Hold it, Freddy. Oh, look. Mrs. Clackett's made us some sardines. Freddy, hold it! <laughs> we have a problem. Oh, dear. Which one is it this time? Left! It's the, the, the left one. Left one! Left one, uh, people, left one! It, 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 it could be anywhere. It, it, it could have fallen down the... and bounced under the... and gone around the... You know. Where did the dog see it? She didn't see it, poor sweet. It was in her eye. <laughs> it, it probably came out on, why did I lock the door? <laughs> because she opens her eyes, kind of. And then I always feel like I should put my arms up. Mind where you put your feet, dear. Uh, everybody look under their feet. <laughs> Nobody move their feet. Everyone put your feet back exactly where they were. Everybody move their feet one by one. <laughs> uh, Brooke, dear, this isn't going to happen during the performance, is it? We don't want the audience to miss their last buses and trains. <laughs> She'll just carry on, won't you, my dear? Uh, well, can she see without them? Can she hear anything without them? Sorry? Uh, Sorry! Oh! Sorry! Oh, my poor darling! You stood on his hand! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, look at Freddy, oh, the poor dear. dear. What happened to him? He's just got a little nosebleed, my sweet, that's all. But no one touched him. No, he's got this thing about violence. It always makes his nose bleed. <laughs> Brooke, 
I thought you said something to me. Yes. Go and hit the box office manager over the head with this. And you'll have finished live theater in Boston forever. Anyway, I found it. She's found it. Where was it, dear? In my eye. <laughs> well done, my sweet. Not in the left one? It had gone round the side. It had gone round the side. I knew it hadn't gone far. <laughs> Are you all right, Poppy, my dear? I, I think so. And Freddy? Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, what now? Nothing. He's got this thing about... This thing about what? Well, I won't say the word. You mean blood? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, clear the stage. Our walking wounded carry the stretcher cases. Right. On we go. From in here, in here, in here, in here. Oh, Selton, where's Selton? Selton! Selton! I think she might have dropped it somewhere out here. Keep looking out there, Selton. Five pages until the big moment. <laughs> We can't stand here like this. Like what? In your underwear. Okay, I'll take it off. In here, in here. <laughs> Darling, this glue, it, it isn't the sort you can never get unstuck, is it? Oh, look. Mrs. Clackett's made us some sardines. A hot water bottle. I didn't put it in there. Someone in the bathroom filling hot water bottles. You don't think there's something creepy going on, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Darling, are you coming to bed or aren't you? Did you say something? I didn't say anything. First the door handle, now this. I can feel goose pimples all over. <laughs> right, get something around you. Get the covers over our heads. Just a moment, what did I do with those sardines? You wait here. You hear all sorts of funny things about these old houses. Yes, but this one has been extensively modernized. I highly doubt anything could survive oil fired central heating and oh my god! <laughs> what? What is it? The sardines! They've gone! Perhaps there is something funny going on. I'm going to get into bed and put my head under the <gasps> I could have sworn I left them. I could have sworn I left them right here. But was it here? Bag? Bag, bag! Bag, bag? Bag, bag, bag! What do you mean, bag, bag, bag? Bag, bag, bag! Bag? What bag? Your bag! Suddenly! Here! Now! Gone! <laughs> it's in the bedroom! I put it in the bedroom! The box! The box! They've both gone! Oh, my files! Right! <laughs> Put your dress on! I'm not going in there again! I'll fetch it for you, I'll fetch it for you! Yes, quick, let's get out of here! Your dress! It's gone! I'm never going to see Basingstoke again! Don't panic, don't panic! There's a perfectly rational explanation for all this. I'll fetch Mrs. Clackett and she'll tell us exactly what's happening. You can't wait here like this. Wait in the study. Study, study, study. Oh. Ah. Ah. Roger, there's a strange figure in there. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Darling, I know this is going to sound silly, but... Darling, if you're not going to bed, I'm going to clear out the attic. Darling, I can't come to bed. I'm glued to a tax demand. <laughs> Darling, why don't you put the sardines down? Okay. <laughs> Darling, I'm glued to the sardines. <laughs> Darling, don't play the fool. Get the bottle marked poison of the downstairs loo. That eats through anything. Eats through anything, right. 
I've heard of getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. Prosecuted for incitement. Thank you, Selston. Do it again. No, but sometimes it makes me want to sit down and weep. Hold it, Selston. Hold it. When I think I used to do bank. Hold it, Selston. When I remember I used to do bullying books. Oh, what am I doing now? I'm breaking into paper bags. Well, I want you to hold it. Right. So what are they offering? Stop, Selston, my dear. Wait, my precious. It's like the orchestra playing as the Titanic sank. <laughs> Stop. 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 Thank you, Belinda. Thank you, Poppy. My great aunt was on the Titanic. <laughs> Thank you, Selston. <laughs> Only they put her in the poor session. And we both know what happened to everyone there. <laughs> Selston. Poppy, can you come back and put the glass in the window? Selston. I need you to come on a little earlier. A bit sooner, Selston. A touch closer to yesterday, Selston. <laughs> Freddy, Freddy, could you come in here? What's your last line before you go off, Freddy? Oh, uh, I've heard of getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. Selston, as soon as you hit a line, I've heard of getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. Your hand should come through that window. Say no more. But perhaps I may make just one little suggestion. Selston, Maybe I, I should... Come on a bit earlier. Selston. <laughs> Only there seems to be somewhat of a hiatus between Freddy's exit and my entrance. Uh, don't worry, Selston, I've got it. Why don't you come on a little earlier? We're obviously thinking along the same lines now. <laughs> right, Freddy, from your line, please. Oh, yeah. Um, I've heard of getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. No bars, no burglar alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. No, but sometimes it makes me want to sit down and weep. When I think I used to do banks. When I remember I used to do bullying balls. What am I doing now? I'm breaking in the paper bags. <laughs> right, so what are they offering? Hmm. One microwave oven. <laughs> Fifty dollars. Hardly worth lifting. Junk. Junk. If you insist. Well, where's his desk? No, they all say the same thing. They all say the same thing. Yes? Why? Oh. It's hard to adjust to retirement. Hard to what? It's hard to adjust to retirement. What? Uh, it's hard to adjust to retirement! It's also very hard to hear if everybody talks at once. And the prospective tenant naturally wishes to know if there's any previous history of paranormal phenomena. Oh, yes, dear. It's all nice and paranormal. I mean, has anything ever dematerialized before? Has anything ever flown about? Flown about? No! The things move themselves on their own two feet. Just like they do in any house. <laughs> I'd better warn my prospective tenant I left her in the study. There's a man in there! No, no, there's no one in the house, love. Look, look, he's searching for something. I can't see no one. <laughs> you can't see him, but this is extraordinary. And where's my prospective tenant? I left her in there. She's gone. My prospective tenant's disappeared. 
Oh my god! Now what? The sardines! Oh, the sardines. You can see the sardines. I can see the sardines. <laughs> I can see the way they're going too. I'm not letting these sardines out of my hands. But where is my prospective tenant? I'm going to be opening sardines all night. <laughs> In and out of here like a kipku on a clock. Oh, uh, Vicky! Vicky! No, I miss the violence. I miss having other human beings around to terrify. Vicky! Vicky! It's nice to hear a bit of shouting and screaming around. All this silence gets you down. Vicky! Vicky! I'm going to end up talking to myself. <sighs> Darling, the stuff that eats through anything it eats through trousers. Wait, if it eats through trousers, you don't think it goes on and eats through... Oh, no. Darling, I, I think I better get these trousers off. I, I can feel it. Darling, this is an emergency. Darling, quick, please. There's something evil in this house. In the bedroom. He's back. No. No. I, I'm not here. He's not here. I, I, I'm abroad. He's walking abroad. I, I must go. Stay. I won't, thank you. Speak. Only in the presence of my lawyer. Only in the presence of you. Hold on, you're not from the other world. <laughs> yes, yes, Marbella. <laughs> you're some kind of sex maniac. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, ni nice to meet you. I mean, have a sardine? You've done something to Vicky. I'm coming straight downstairs. Oh, you've got sardines. Well, <laughs> this is plainly a matter for the police. If there's nothing else I can offer you, I guess I must be going. <laughs> Come back. Hello, police. Yes, someone has broken into my house. Or rather, someone's broken into someone's house. Yes, I left a young woman here, and what's happened to her, no one knows. There's a man lurking in the undergrowth! The young woman has reappeared. <laughs> Are you all right? No, he almost saw me. Yes, he almost saw her. But he's a burglar as well. He's taken our thing. The things are here. The things have come back. <laughs> so now we're just missing a plate of sardines. The sardines are here. We found the sardines. So what am I saying? I'm saying let's say no more about it. This is the police. You want the police here in my underwear? I thought something had happened to you. It has. I know him. You know him? He's dealt with by our office. But he's just an ordinary sex maniac. Yes, but he mustn't see me like this. One has to keep up certain standards if you work for Inland Revenue. Well, there must be something in the bathroom. Bring the sardines. Right now, that's the downstairs all tidied up for them. Now to give the upstairs a quick check over. A fog mat! Better than nothing. I can't go around in front of our taxpayers wearing a fog mat. Well, there must be something in the bedroom. No, I'm not going in there again. All right, I'll check the bedroom. You check the other bathroom.
she, she burst into the room and her dress fell off. <laughs> Darling! Come on! Oh. Here, put this on while I check if there's anything else in the end. <laughs> One hair go tap. Oh my god! Who are you? Me! Uh, fixing the tax! Tax? Income tax? That's right, Governor! Income new tax, alcohol tax! <laughs> tax inspectors everywhere! Here you are! The other one! I found your dress. It came flying out of the attic at me. Darling, I've got a dress stuck in my head now. <laughs> Another intruder! Just doing the taps, Governor. A tax! Not a tax on women! Try anything, Governor. We'll all be doing the tap on the bathtub first. <laughs> Sex maniacs everywhere. <laughs> Vicky! Where have you gone, Vicky? People everywhere! I'm all a tax on women! I don't know they'll put a tax on anything these days. If I can't find her, you're going to be in serious trouble, you see. Don't you see? I'll fix it. Ah, uh, Vicky! Dolly! <laughs> Sheik! You're here! In the bedroom! Upstairs! Well, I assume you're going to want to see over the house. Uh, since you're already upstairs, why don't we start in the bedroom? Him and his blues girl, break this over their heads. I'm sorry about this. No idea who she is, no connection to the house, I assure you. Who are you? Who are these people? Whereas this young lady, on the other hand... No other ends, thank you, not in my sardines. Because this time, I'm eating them. Is completely occupied with her sardines. Perhaps the toilet facilities would be of more interest Mrs. to Mrs. Clackett, who are these people? Oh, yes, they all done, love. They're just Arab sheets. And here we have... Arab sheets. Your bold sheets. Cock, governor. Your bold cocks have gone. We have him. <laughs> now, Irish sheets. Irish linen sheets off my own bed. Oh, the feeling devils. In the study, however... Here, give me that sheet, you <laughs> devil. Oh, and there she stands in a small. For all the world to say! It's you! It's her! It's my little girl! Dad! A <laughs> little Vicky who ran away from home! I thought I'd never see again! What are you doing here like this? Me? What are you doing here like? Like that? Me? I'm delivering our files on tax evasion to Inland Revenue in Basingstoke! Oh! <laughs> So where's my other sheet? Ah! A house of heavenly peace. I rent it. Hold on! He's no sheik. He's that sex maniac! What? Yes, it's my husband. What? What? Hey, oh, what? 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 You tossed me aside like a broken Chinese doll. And you have it all! You've got your trousers on! And what you're up to with my little girl down there in bathing stoke? Stop. Stop. It's a question of authenticity, Freddy. Do Arab potentates wear trousers under their robes? I don't know. But not around their ankles, Freddy. Not around their ankles! <laughs> Sorry, it's just frightfully difficult doing a quick change without a dresser. So get Tim to help you. Where's Tim? Tim! Tim, get out of here, Tim! Sorry? <laughs> That's right, you're acting. I must have dropped off down there. Never mind, Tim. Do something? No, let it pass. You take a snooze behind the couch, while the rest of us run around with trousers around our ankles. You just got to struggle through, all right, Freddy? Well... Something else, Freddy? Well, I mean, since we're stopped anyway. Why did I ask? I mean, you know how stupid I am about plot. I know, Freddy. May I ask one more silly question? All of my studies in world drama lie at your disposal. Um, I, I never understood why the Sheik happens to be Philip's double. Because I see you and I see him and, well, that's the joke. 
<laughs> Alright, I see that. Freddy, my sweet, the rest of the plot depends on it. Alright, I see that, but it, it is rather a coincidence, isn't it? It is rather a coincidence, Freddy, yes! Until you reflect to the audience that there was once an earlier draft of the play, now unfortunately lost to us. And in that draft, it said that Freddy's father, at a very young age, had traveled extensively through the Middle East. <laughs> oh, I, I see. You see? That's, that's very interesting. I thought you'd like that. But will the audience get it? You need to show them. Through looks and gestures. That's what acting is all about. Oh, thank you, thank you. And it'll be even more powerful when you do it without trousers on. Yes, uh, of course. Right on we go from Belinda's beautiful line, you toss me aside like a broken china tub. I'm being so clever out here. What are you all gonna do when I go to New York to start rehearsing Richard III? Right on we go. You toss me aside like a broken china doll. You toss me aside like a broken china doll. What? 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 And what you're up to is my little girl in bathing stoke. I won't ask. But I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. Brooke. Yes? You lying, Brooke. We're two lines away from the end of the act. I don't understand. Give me the line! What's that, Dad? But I don't understand. It's what's that, Dad? Yes, because I say to you, I'll tell you what, Vicky, and then you say to me, what's that, Dad? I don't understand why the sheik looks like Philip. <laughs> Bobby, bring the book! Is that the line, Poppy? I don't understand why the sheik looks like Philip. Can we consult these, uh, the author's text to make absolutely certain? Well, I think it's... What's that, Dad? <laughs> Nothing more. That's the line, Brooke, dear. Now, we all know you've come from classy places up in London, and I'll let you make up the play as you go along. <laughs> but we don't want that here, do we? Not when the author has provided us with such a clear and polished line of his own. Not at one o'clock in the morning, not five minutes before a coffee break, before we all drop dead of exhaustion. Not two lines away from the end of the act. We merely want to hear the line. What's that, Dad? I'm not being unreasonable, am I? Exit to the exit in the book copy. God, she's gonna wash her lenses away. <laughs> Brooke, love, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, dear. A little heavy with the sauce, I thought. I thought it was gonna be Poppy when he finally, you know. It's usually Poppy, it's okay. isn't it, dear? I didn't mean it, Brookie. No, I, I suppose this is all my fault. Yes, but... <laughs> Why well, have you right, gone, Mark. you know? Yes. Why Brooke? I thought it was quite sweet, actually. Sweet? Brooke, please, you're Them embarrassing. Them pretending like they're not having a little thing together? A little thing? <laughs> Lloyd and Brooke? Didn't you know? Brooke and Lloyd? Where do you think they've been all weekend? Oh, you mean that's why Lloyd wasn't here when, this weekend when poor old Tim... Oh. Put the setup back to front? <laughs> Shh, I think they're coming. All right, all right, all's forgiven. I admit I was irresistible. I think I'm really sick. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, great Scott. You mean her, too? Well, that's something I didn't know. I think I'm going to faint. Yes, yeah, sit down, dear. Quick, quick, do your meditations. That's something she didn't know. <laughs> Whatever next. Most exciting. Here he oh, comes. Oh, yes. Shh. How is she, dear? She'll be all right in a minute. Something she ate, probably. Yes, this one's feeling sort of, you know, <laughs> feeling a bit, you know, myself. I think I might, uh... Which? Fate or bad? Need that coffee break. Yes. You're certainly overdoing it at the moment, dear. So you could just have 
The last line of the act, please. The last, <gasps> last line, me, right. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. What's that, Dad? <laughs> when all around is strife and uncertainty, there's nothing like a good old fashioned plate of. What is it? Oh. A good old fashioned plate of. What did she say? Sardines! Black out! Oh, black out! <laughs> She doesn't. She must. She will, she will. But if she didn't... I'd have five minutes to change. Four minutes. If only she say something. Look, I'll have another go. Takes your mind off your own problems anyway. Has she gone? Lloyd, I didn't know you were coming today. I wasn't. I haven't. Anyway, thank God you're here. I don't want anyone to know I'm in. Dad and Gary. I'm not here, I'm in New York, in the middle of rehearsing Richard III. No, but Daddy and Gary. I just went two hours alone and undisturbed with Brooke in her dressing room. Uh, then I'm on the 725, back to New York. This is for Brooke. Put it somewhere in her dressing room, and don't let Selson get his hands on it. Right, they've had some kind of row. Uh, there's a little flower shop just across the stage door. I want you to go there and buy me some very large and expensive looking flowers. Right, now Dottie's locked herself and in the dressing room. don't let Poppy see them. They're not for Poppy. No, and she won't speak to anyone. Uh, first house finishes just after 5, yes? Second house starts just after 7.30. Lloyd, that's what I'm trying to tell you. There may not be a show. She hasn't walked out already. No one knows what she's doing. She's locked herself in her dressing room. She won't speak to anyone. And you've called places? Yes. I can't do a complete love scene for cold in five minutes. It's not dramatically possible. <laughs> she's had bust-ups with Gary before, of course. Brooks had bust-ups with Gary? Brooke. Not Brooke, Dottie. Oh, Dottie, yes. I mean, they had the famous bust up the week before last when we were playing Fargo. All oh, right, you told me on the phone. She went out with this journalist bloke. A journalist, yeah, yeah, I know. But you know, Gary threatened to kill him. Kill him, yeah, I know. Look, don't worry about Dottie. She's got money in the show. Yes, but now it's happened again. Two o'clock this morning, I'm woken up by this great banging on my door. It's Gary. Do I know where Dottie is? She hasn't come home. Tim. Let me tell you a little something about my life. I have the Duke of Buckingham on the phone with me for an hour, every evening after rehearsal, complaining that the Duke of Clarence is sucking boiled sweets through his speeches. The Duke of Gloucester is off for the entire week doing a commercial for Madeira. And Richard, would you believe it? Richard III is out for the entire week with a back problem. I keep getting I keep getting messages from Brooke about how unhappy she is here. And now she's got a doctor's certificate for nervous exhaustion. She's going to walk! She's going to walk. I have no time to find or rehearse another video. I have the one afternoon while Richard is getting fitted for his surgical courses to cure Brooke of her nervous exhaustion. With no medical aids except a little whiskey, and you've got the whiskey. A few flowers, and you've got the money for the flowers, and a certain faded charm. <laughs> so, I haven't come to the theater to hear about other people's problems. I've come to be taken out of my own, and preferably not put back again. Yes, but Lloyd. Have you done the front of house calls? Oh, the front of house calls! And don't let Poppy see those flowers. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in three minutes. We're going to be starting so late. No luck. Belinda's time to go. I haven't even started the front of house calls yet. Money? What's that for? Nothing, nothing. Whiskey? Oh, is it? 
Where'd you find that? Uh, well, you know, up here. You mean Selden's hiding them around the stage now? Oh. I'll put it in the ladies' bathroom. At least he won't go in there. No? You know what Daddy's like when she's like this. Freddy's having a go. Oh, no. He's hiding them around the stage now. <sighs> no. No. You didn't try for very long, my precious. No, well, oh, dear. He's hiding them on stage now. Oh, no. Gary came rushing out of the dressing room in a great state. I couldn't quite understand what he was saying. I mean, you know how stupid I am about that kind of thing. But I feel like Gary must have missed something somewhere. But I think he was saying he wanted to kill me. <laughs> oh, my poor sweet. Well, I thought I'd better leave him to it. I didn't want to make things worse. He's all right, is he? Who, Gary? Anything but by the sound of it. I mean, he's going on. Gary! Gary's going on. Of course he's going on. What's all this about Gary not going on? Yes, because if you go on for Gary, Poppy can't go on for Dottie, because if Poppy goes on for Dottie, you'll have to be on the book. This is getting farcical. <laughs> money? Oh. You're waving money around. That for, for I mean. <laughs> she's a funny woman, you know. Dottie. I mean, she was perfectly all right last night. Last night? Oh, yes. She took me for a drink last night in some bar she knew, she knew about. <laughs> she was with you. You were with her. She's being very sympathetic about all my troubles. She won't sink her teeth into you. I won't let her. Oh, no, no, no. She, she couldn't have been nicer. In fact, she came to my digs afterwards for a cup of tea. And she told me all her troubles. Sat there until 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Don't know what the landlady thought. And another thing. Nothing else, my sweet. Where's Selsden? Turns out that Freddy here, who's the cause of all the... Selsden? He's not in his dressing room. I would have guessed. Oh, the front of house calls. You do the calls, I'll look for Selsden. And what shall I do? Absolutely nothing at all. R right. You've done quite enough already, my pet. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in three minutes. He wants to kill someone. Selden wants to kill someone. Gary! Gary! <laughs> Selden! We've lost him. Oh, not again. Flowers? Oh, well, they're just, you know. Oh, Tim, that's really sweet of you. <laughs> Isn't that sweet of him? Very charming. I'll go look in the pub. <laughs> Hold these. I'll take those. Oh, the front of house calls! Hold these. <laughs> oh, I think Poppy's done them. She gave him two minutes, I'll give him one minute. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? <laughs> the Colonel will rise in one minute. Oh, no, 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 I, I, I think Poppy's giving them three minutes. Three minutes. <laughs> I said three minutes. She said three minutes. I, I think so. Hold this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The colonel will rise in two minutes. <laughs> Any luck? No, but I found you another bottle. My lord? Goodwill. I'll take you to Goodwill. Hidden Ladies' Lavatories, would you believe it? He's not in the pub. No, he's hanging around Ladies' Lavatories. I better get the spare gear on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in two minutes. Oh. Someone's already given him two minutes. He's done two minutes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The curtain will rise in one minute. What the hell is going on back here? Boy! Great stuff! I didn't know we were here. I'm not! I'm in New York in the middle of rehearsing Richard III. But I can't sit out there listening to two minutes, three minutes, one minute, three minutes! My right, dear, we're having great dramas in the dressing rooms. We're having great dramas out there! <laughs> this is the matinee, honey! There's a sea of blue words out there! The curtain will rise in three minutes. We all head for the gents! The curtain will rise in one minute. We all come running out again! We don't know which way we're going! <laughs> Oh, we will, we will. You got my message? Many, many messages. Then why do you answer? I did. I have. 
I'm here. Lloyd, there's something I've got to tell you. Go on, then. Well, I went to the doctor today. Brooke! Oh, no, not another one. Well, ain't all right. In my dressing room. In her dressing room. This is getting completely out of control. I'll take it to go to the other one. I'll do it, thank you. Lloyd! Lloyd! You got it in one, Charlie. You got my message? And came running, honey. And came running. Lloyd, we have got to have a talk. We will have a talk. When? Later. Yes, later. Uh, flowers, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tim bought them for me. Tim! Bought flowers for you. To cheer me up, Lloyd. I'll have no more of it, thank you. Well, what about Dottie? I don't want to hear about Dottie. Well, what about Gary? I don't want to hear about Gary. What about Selz? I don't want to. Look, I think this play is beyond the help of a director. So I'm just going to sit out there and enjoy my bag of toffees in the dark. One minute was the last call. If your memory goes back that far. Wait. Lloyd, excuse me. I got to talk to him. Girls, girls. I have a good mind to get my coat and walk out of those doors right here and now. Look, if, if you don't feel up to performing, I'm sure Poppy here will be happy to have a bash on your behalf. I beg your pardon? Honestly. <laughs> Brooke, honey, why don't you sit down and do your meditation? <laughs> why don't you see what's happening with Gary and Dottie? And Freddie, my sweet precious. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> Where's Tim? Selston, my dear, where have you been? Oh, are, are you all right? I mean... <laughs> my dear, we've been looking for you everywhere. Everywhere? Yes. In front, the manager's office, the bar. He's looking for you in the dressing rooms. Oh, yes, the dressing rooms. Great shit gig to be going on down there. I thought Tim ought to know about it. My love, I think he's heard. Oh, everything. He really went for her. I know when you've got your eye on someone. Hey, uh, Dottie's got her eye on someone, has she? I've seen you sneaking off in the corners with that poor halfway. Well, which poor halfway? <laughs> Never mind, my dear. Not Tim. No, no, no. But who else? Besides me? me? I think they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. I knew they would. And you are here? Oh, yes. Every word. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? The performance is about to begin. They're coming. And we found Selsden. How did you get here? How? Through the wall. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? I've done it. The performance is about to. I've done it. I've done it. Done it. Done about to begin. It's about to begin. About to begin. <laughs> the performance is about to. Begin at any moment. <laughs> Poor Lloyd, he'll choke on his toffees. No, the walls are very thin, you see. I'm absolutely sick to death of it, she cries. You try to give some poor devil a leg up. <laughs> or was it a leg over? Gary, oh. my sweet. Here he is. Are you all right? Sensible, only stir things up again. I see you giving him little nods and smiles. That's what he kept saying. Daddy. Oh, she's emerged at long last. Come on, old girl, you're almost on. Are you alright? Is she alright? She's fine. Alright, everyone? Little hugs and squeezes. Lights up. 
Look, Dottie, look, Gary. I, I'm not gonna make a great speech, but we have all got to go out there and put on a show and, well, we can't do this in silence, my loves. We're going to have to speak to each other. What's the house like? That's the spirit. Well done, Dottie. It's quite good. Well, for a matinee. There's quite a crowd in front of the back of the aisles. Come on, girl. Quick, get the lights up. Some of those blue hairs out there haven't got too long to go. Right, quiet them, please. Oh, wait, wait. Just one moment. Let me, let me just say one, one word. Please. Let one, me one just word. say one word. <clears throat> Sardines. Sardines. S sardines. Standing by, please, music you won. Now what? Well, we're just going up. We've been sitting out there for an hour. They've gone silent. They think someone's died. I, I, I'm sorry, Lloyd. It was my fault. I, I was just saying a few words to everyone. Freddie, have you ever thought about having a brain transplant? Sorry. Uh, wrong moment. I, 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 I see that. Does anybody else have any thoughts? They feel they must communicate! Well, not now, of course, but... What? But, you know, later... And you! You bought flowers for... A poppy? No. Well... <laughs> yes! <laughs> and you didn't buy any flowers for... Me? No. <laughs> well... No. <laughs> Tim... Have you ever heard of anything called a jealous rage? Yes. Well, <laughs> yes. Then take ten dollars of your own money and go buy me some damn flowers. Boy, we're just going up. I've got to run the show. Never mind the show. Concentrate on the floral arrangements. <laughs> You're both such idiots. You could have Freddy's old brain. You could eat down half. Oh dear. Don't cry, Poppy, my dear. Just get the show started. <laughs> standing by, please, Alex, stand by. Christ! Hush, dear. Lights going up, music, you want to go? It's not a good gym going on. Caught Nathan sardines on dark to the bed. Barely got one pair of feet. Hello? Yes, but there's no one here, love. Now, Mr. Brent's not here. He lives here yet, but he don't live here now because he lives in Spain. <laughs> Mr. Philip Brent, that's right. The one who writes the plays, that's him, only now he writes them in Spain. <coughs> now she's in Spain too, they're all in Spain, there's no one Am I in Spain? No, I'm not in Spain, dear. I look after the house for them, but I go home at one o'clock on Wednesdays. Only I've got a nice pair of sardines to put my feet up with. Cause it's the royal what's it called on the telly? <laughs> royal, you know. Where's the paper then? And if it's to do with letting the house, then you'll have to read the house agents, because they're the agents for the house. <laughs> Why don't you go to the house the other one? <laughs> now they're in an old spy, they're next to the phone in the study. Entirely to ourselves! I'll just check. Hello, anyone at home? Oh, no, no. no, there's no one here. What do you think? Oh, oh these dogs! Oh. <laughs> Only a handful, really. Study, <laughs> kitchen, and the self contained service flap in the 
housekeeper. Terrific. And which one's the... What? You know. The usual offices, through here. Fantastic.
same thing. Yes, they all say the same thing. It's hard to adjust to retirement. Hard to what? Adjust to retirement! <laughs> it's hard to assess a requirement. <laughs> and the prospective tenant naturally wishes to know if there's a previous history of paranormal phenomena. Oh, yes! Has anything ever materialized before? Has anything ever flown about? Flown about!
young lady on the other hand. Now I'm around. Thank you. For my darling. For this one, I'm a number. It's completely out of time with her sardines. Perhaps the toilet facilities would be a more interesting use. off the floor and answer the phone. We've only got one leg. <laughs> Hello? Yes, but there's no one here, love. No, Mr. Brent's not here. 
It lives there, yes, but it don't live here now. Cause he lives in Spain. <laughs> Mr. Philip Brent, that's right. The one who writes the plays, although why he wants to get mixed up in plays, <laughs> God only knows. <laughs> He'd be safer off in the lion's cage at the zoo. No, she's in Spain too. They're all in Spain. There's no one here. Am I in Spain? <laughs> no, I'm not in Spain, dear. I look after the house for them. But I go home at one o'clock on Wednesdays. Only I've got a nice plate of sardines to put my feet up with. Cause it's the royal what's it called on the telly? The royal Yeah now Where's the <coughs> paper then? <laughs> and if it's to do with letting the house, then you'll have to ring the house agents, cause they're the agents for the house. <laughs> squire, Squire Ackerman, who's the other one? Oh, no, they're not in Spain, they're just a bit squashed. <laughs> squire, Squire Ackerman, hold on. I'm going to do something wrong here. <laughs> Always the same, isn't it? One minute you got too much on your plate. Next thing you know, they've gone again. Yes, but this is her afternoon off. So we've got the place entirely to ourselves. I'll just check. Hello? Anyone at home? No, there's no one here, so what do you think? Great, and this is all yours? Just a little shack in the woods, converted possibly. Mill, 16th century. It must have cost a bomb. One has to have somewhere to entertain one's business associates. Someone on the phone by the look of it. Probably this Arab sheik calling to say he wants to come at four. Uh, I'll, I'll just have a word with him. Right. And I've got to get those files to our Basingstoke office by four. Yes, we'll only just manage to pick it in. I mean, we'll only just fit it up. I mean... Right then. We won't bother to pull the champagne. All these doors! <laughs> only a handful, really. <laughs> Study, kitchen, and the self-contained service back for the receiver. <laughs> Terrific! And which one's the... What? You know. The usual offices. Right, uh, through here, through here. Fantastic. I've lost the sardines again. <laughs>
sorry. I thought there was no one here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know here. Yeah. I I'm don't from know where I am. <laughs> I'm from the agents. Lost the phone now. Squire, Squire, Hackerman, Dudley. Never lost a phone before. <laughs> I'm Tramplemane. I'll just put this up here. Look. In case anyone wants it. <laughs> No, no, just dropped in to go into a few things. Check some of the measurements. Do one or two odd jobs. Oh, yes, the plate's gone. <laughs> and a client. I'm showing a prospective tenant over the house. She's thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely aroused. That's not the bedroom. The bedroom? No, that's the downstairs <laughs> bathroom, the WC suite. And this is the house. Sardines there, sardines. Oh, hi. She's not really here. Oh, you shouldn't have stood on them. <laughs> Don't worry about us. They'll all go standing on them now. We'll just inspect the house. I better give the floor a wash. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. That's all right. We don't want the television, do we? <laughs> <laughs> television! Right! She, she didn't explain about wanting to watch the, the royal... You know, because there's this, this thing with the, you know, you know, just in case anybody's looking at all this and thinking, my God. <laughs> Rach, come on then, I've got to be in Basingstoke by four. <laughs> you just thought we ought to get that sh straight. Oh, uh, now we've gotten out of... And don't let my files out of sight! Wait, where are we? What? What? Her? Her. Right, her! She has been in the family for generations. Sardines! Sardines! It's not for me to say, of course, dear. Only I will just say this. Don't think twice about it. Take the plunge. You'll really enjoy it here. Oh, great. <laughs> or just put this up here. Then if he wants it, he won't know where to find it. Terrific! <laughs> sardines, sardines. You'll have to do the sardines then, because I've got to go back to the kitchen now to do some more sardines. <laughs> you see? She thinks it's great. She's even making us sardines. <laughs> Yes, well... I think she's terrific. <laughs> terrific. So which way? Uh, I, I, I guess just kind of par parcel the, them up and... Up here? And to da down here. In here? <laughs> to take, take the, the, the bag, the box. It's another bathroom. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, 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 and you do the... Always trying to get me into bathrooms. Oh. Ah. Black sheets. <laughs> oh. Let's take the... Uh, take the... Oh, you're in a real state. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
No, it's Mrs. Clack. It's afternoon off, remember? We've... <laughs> Just waiting for us to come back. But how odd to find the telephone in the garden. <laughs> I'll put it back. Thought I'd bring it in. Very sensible. Someone's bound to want it. <laughs> oh, 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 dear. Oh, look, it seems to be caught round the downstairs bathroom. <laughs> Oh, yeah, um, it, it, it's damn serious. If Inland Revenue finds out we're in the... <laughs> Country, even for one night. Right. Yes, because if Inland Revenue finds out we're in the... Country... Country. Even for one night. Even for one night. Bang goes our thing. <laughs> Resident abroad. Re Resident abroad. <laughs> Absolutely. Close <laughs> <laughs> the season coat. Yes. So uh, I think I'd better uh, uh, go have a. Little lie down. Yeah, yes. A lie down, yes. Well, why not? No children, no friends dropping in. We're absolutely on our. Leave those. Uh, oh. Downstairs, not upstairs. Um, uh. I, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> there is something said for being a tax exile. What I did with that first lot of sardines, I shall never know. <laughs> this is <good> space. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a turn, but I jumped right out of the sofa. So did mine. We thought you'd gone. I thought you was in Sardinia. We are. We are. <laughs> We're not here. Well, I can guess which one of them left this year. Yes, but the main thing is the income tax are after us. Lovely helping of sardines to sit on. If anybody asks, you don't know nothing. Anything. I'll get a hot water bottle. And all she goes without waiting to find out about his letters. His letters? Letters? <laughs> what letters? Y you forward all the mail, don't you? Not presents from Sardinia, dear. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, show you. Or I put presents from Sardinia. I put them all in the pigeon house. In the pigeon house? <laughs> in the little pigeon house down here, love. <laughs> But there's no one here! <laughs> but 
mean, they must have brought them up here and there. I still don't see why you've got to put your tie on to look. Mrs. Crackett. Mrs. Crackett? One has to set an example for the stuff. Oh, look, she's opening our sardines. Oh, come back. What? You can't go downstairs like that. Why not? Mrs. Crackett. Mrs. Crackett? One has certain obligations. Sardines. <laughs> sardines. <laughs> there. It's like the Battle of Waterloo out here. <laughs> Poking around, are you? Yes, yeah, still poking. Well, yeah, still pulling. Good job, I can't see far with this leg. Huh. No, no, just checking all the doors. Checking all the door handles. <laughs> Mrs. Blackett. Blackett, you Blackett. Mrs. Blackett. Is there anyone else in this house, Mrs. Clackett? I haven't seen no one, dear. I could have sworn I heard voices. Voices? There's no voices here, love. I must have imagined it. Oh, good Lord above! <laughs> what? I beg your pardon? What's the matter? The same door's open. <laughs> well, they're going to want these, so I'll just put them out. And then they, 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 they want them, they can, you know. Nothing but fucking doors in this handle. <laughs> <laughs> Final notice. Steps will be taken. Strain. Proceedings in court. Ah, oh, my lord, who are you? <laughs> I'm Philip. You're Philip? What happened to you? Well, it all got a bit slippery on the stairs out there. <laughs> you haven't done himself an injury? No, he's just a bit shaken up. I'll be right in a minute. <laughs> you weren't going to tell me a gentleman and come back the house. What? You weren't going to tell me a gentleman and come back the house. Oh, yes. A gentleman come about the house. Don't tell me. I'm not here. They put your box out in the garden for you. Let them do anything. Just so long as you don't tell anyone we're here. So we'll just sit down and turn on the sardines I forgot them. <laughs> oh no, I haven't. <laughs> I remembered the sardines. <laughs> what a surprise. I must go back to the kitchen now and do some more sardines <laughs> to celebrate. I didn't get this. I'm not here. I'm in Spain. If I didn't get it, I didn't open it. Darling. <laughs> Darling, I never had a handle like this, did I? <laughs> Didn't you? I shouldn't buy anything as brassy as this. <laughs> oh, it's not something you gave me, is it? I should never have touched it. No, it's lovely. Stick it down, put it back, never saw it. Well, I'll put it in the attic if anyone else wants to have a try. <laughs> all right, all right, now the study door's open. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, 
could survive oil fired central heating and oh my god
It's gone! <laughs> I'm never going to see basic stuff again! Don't panic! Don't panic! Introduce ourselves. Oh, no. This is my husband. I'm afraid surprises go straight to his nose. There's a man lurking in the undergrowth! <laughs> oh, how lovely. Another unexpected guest. Why don't you see what you can see in the garden? <laughs> and darling, why don't you get the bottle marked poison and the down get loose? That eats through anything. Is there anything? Right. Uh, I've heard of getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> no bars, no burger alarms. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. Come in and join the party, love. <laughs> Dear, this is my fault because when I say I've heard of getting stuck with a problem, this is ridiculous, and I open the door. <laughs> No burger and arms. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. Oh, come on! <laughs> no, but sometimes it makes me want to sit down and weep. I know, love. It's getting like a funeral in here. When I think I used to do banks. Keep going. When I, I remember, remember I used to do body and vaults. What, what am I, I doing, doing now? I'm, I'm breaking into in paper, paper bags. bags. Stop. No, keep going. <laughs> I thought the coast was clear. You see, I saw him going out to the bathroom. What city says? I've heard of getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. And then he opens his door. <laughs> no cars, no burglar alarms. <laughs> they are to be prosecuted for incitement. <laughs> They always come in threes, don't they? When, when I, I think, think I, I used to, to do banks, when I remember I used to do bullion balls. Keep going. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on, we know this man. He's not a burglar. What? He's our social worker. <laughs> He's... What? He's that nice man that comes in and tells us what to do. What to do? What, what, to, what, do? To, what, do? what to do? What to do? Door to the sardines! He's saying? Door to the sardines! 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 He's saying? Phones! Phones are police! 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 Phones are police!
Please! Please! Spoon! He's saying? Bags, bags, bags of boxes. 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 He's saying, happy, happy ending. Happy. All we need now is a nice happy ending. And here she is in her wedding dress. It's uh. their wedding day. It's their uh. wedding day. <laughs> what a happy ending. Do you take this sheet to be a lawful wedded wife? If not, speak now or forever hold your peace. What's he saying? What's he last saying? Last line. 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 And all around is straight for the certainty. There's nothing like a good old fashioned plate of. Blackouts! Black